time to catch up with me, Sarah. Amelia. We've got a very special show for you this week. We're actually going to a tap room to have a real pint of beer. Well, hey! First time since lockdown. We're really, really excited. Uh, we're going to take you with us on that little journey. So, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. See Cheers. you in a bit. Bye. Civilized, like we're going for coffee, yes, it rather does. than going for beer. 
it's, it's obviously far too early to say at the moment, but it will be interesting to see whether any of the elements that of the pub experience that they're incorporating now due to coronavirus, where, whether any of that does stay. Things like table service, which are quite commonplace in uh, other parts of the world, in yes. Europe and America, Canada. In fact, the UK is probably one of the few countries I've visited other than like Ireland where going up to the bar and ordering and speaking to the bar, yeah. the bartender, is quite a common thing. I think it's a really good opportunity, especially for craft beer bars. I've always wanted to see craft beer and beer and how the same as the as Belgium beer. Yeah. The way that they serve, it, serve you beer in Belgium and Brussels is really amazing. Like, there's a real theatre to it, there's a real respect to it. And I think having that table service element in the UK, maybe we can start seeing that um, reverence for beer yeah. being brought here. I think that would be great. I guess you're missing at the moment that interaction with the customer where yeah. a waiter or a waitress can come up to you and talk through the beers and make suggestions. Yeah. Um, and in, in Belgium they have it as well in a lot of places where you um, I don't think it's every bar in Belgium but there's somewhere you get uh, if you order a certain beer it comes in a dedicated um, glass yeah. as well um, we definitely don't have that no not I don't think any brewer would say <laughs> I really want my glass my beer to be served in a plastic glass no, <laughs> no but this is the times that we're living in and I must say I'll, I take this over a can at home any day <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. It's so nice to be here. Thanks, Alphabet, for actually opening today. Yeah, thank you. It's yeah. um, it's nice. We one of the reasons we chose Alphabet as one of our first stops is because we we know the space really well. We know we know a lot of the people who work here, and um, we we knew that they had very you know, stringent safety processes in place. We needed to book a table. We knew that it would be an open space. We knew that there would be lots of tables packed yeah. in. And um, yeah, we, we, we just felt that it was going to be a comfortable experience for our first beer yeah. out of lockdown. And I think that it's definitely, it yeah, definitely feels like that so far. ourselves pretty well so far. We've, um, I think because we've not yeah, seen each other in the flesh for a while, we have been, been chatting. We've been chatting, been excited about the beer, but we've also been chatting, which has slowed us down, which I think is a good thing. Ace the K as good as ever. Yeah, that Ace the K is, um, I'd say along with Charlie Doe's Surf, it's probably their like trademark beer. Yeah. It's summer in glass. And I've um, copied Sarah from the first round and gone for the Super Mario Nation. And um, I love a red ale, so this is going to go down very, very nicely. It doesn't have a point, does it? Mm. I, think, I think they said it was in the shops as well on this. Yeah. And they managed to get a real citrusy note coming through. There's a real citrusy note coming through. The, mo- the taste of the malt as well. It's a slight kind of roast roastiness to it. It's just... really it's a, it's, Sadly, you know, our weather's been a bit pants since springtime here. But I think it sort of suits this sort of wet summer's day. Yeah. <laughs> I always think of a red ale it's like a very, very, very slight sourness to it as well. Like which mm. is like I don't know what maybe that's just my palate. Yeah. I don't know what it is but there's something about like a red it ale. It might be the umami that, that you're yeah. picking up mm. which is great, yeah. I mean in terms of pairing that with food just all day long yeah. anything you want. So yeah, yeah, it's a good beer to know. It's good to have an arsenal mm. sort of thing. In terms of um, beer and food, last night I actually made a, a beer mac and cheese. I think we should do some, some cooking. Yeah, maybe we should, yeah. Do you think um, that's a good idea? Let us know. Yeah, I let, think doing a sort of few, like cooking, uh, cooking a beer thing would yeah, be really fun. Yeah, definitely. Let us know. And also let us know if there's anything in particular that you thought about trying yeah. at home. You wouldn't necessarily know where to start. And we'll, we'll give it a go because... Um, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? Have why not? Yeah. See, the best ideas come when you're sat having a beer. Yeah, exactly. I read a really good tweet yesterday, which really summed up my my feelings about pubs reopening. The, the general gist of it was: it doesn't matter if you don't feel comfortable going out and having a drink in a pub or going to your favourite restaurant yet. 
that doesn't mean that you don't want to support independent businesses. Yeah. But at the same time, if you do want to go out and you do want to go to a pub and you do want to go support your independent restaurant, that's fine too. As long as you're doing so safely, it's about what you're comfortable with. And it does seem that a lot of venues are taking a very sensible approach yeah. to reopening. Um, either making the decision that actually they're not quite ready yet and waiting, or opening but with either a booking system in place, something like we've got here with the WhatsApp, you know, to collect your beer so you're minimising your time sort of interacting with other people. So yeah, I think that sensible approaches are being taken all around. sweetest thing which I really like and a nice bitterness just washes the tongue um, when you're washing the tongue with the carbonation you're getting like little spikes of bitterness coming through as well after their beer um, and generally giving a really nice positive experience yeah thank you for watching everyone I yeah. hope this is like help allay your fears a little bit maybe about going out if you do feel like you want to go out definitely hit up your independent businesses yeah. give them a shout on messenger yeah. or however you can communicate with them and ask them about their policies and procedures yeah. in place if there's anything you're worried about just just ask them they'll mm. be they'll be grateful to know and the thing is they're just as worried as you are they want to mm. keep their staff safe they want to yeah. keep you safe yeah I mean it was so safe in there it was so safe but if you don't feel comfortable going into your independent bar or restaurant yet that's okay too mm -hmm. just you know maybe maybe think about giving them a little order um, they, they you know a lot of the breweries and a lot of the independent businesses have been doing well out of uh, orders and zero breweries during lockdown so um, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever you do do decide is right for you mm -hmm. that's okay and uh, yeah well, thank you for watching everyone thank you uh, cheers and um, we'll see you next week see you next week take bye. care bye bye